But I will tell you that it has been our distinct pleasure and privilege to work with your students. They have challenged us in a good way and made us think harder and smarter. So without any further ado, we want to show you a little bit about what we have been doing. So back when we met all of five days ago, we just started some basic conducting patterns. And we moved from those basic conducting patterns to do a couple of exercises. One of our sort of straightforward, most straightforward, simplest patterns at first is just the arrow pattern doing through the meters. So drum majors with me. Let's do through the meters counting, please. You're on your own. Ready? And. One, two, three, so all that they're doing is going in five, four time, four, four time. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two. two. Back to one, all the way back up to five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and they're trying to get very clear with each other. Good. And when we finish that, we just like, okay, that's simple enough. Then we were like, okay, let's take those counts out and maybe replace it with something uh, that's not quite counting, but would challenge us a little bit more. So because they're so smart, they can go beyond just kind of simple reasoning. So here we are, alphabet, please. Regular. Ready. And. Same exercise, but they don't have the crutch of doing the numbers on top of that. Okay, easy. Yeah, good. Good job, everybody. See, they don't think that's enough. You know, they were like, hmm. Good job, baby. All right. So. We, we agreed. They were like, you know, we're so smart, we could do even better. So we'll invite you to do it along with us if you think it's so easy. And all we're going to do is just go in reverse. Here we go. Backwards, please. Ready. And join in when you're ready. Louder, please. No takers, huh? All right, they like that one. Good job, everybody.